Day one in Alabama's 2016 legislative session has come to a close. There are several big bills up for debate. WVUA 23's Jabari Pruitt is in Montgomery covering the legislative session and has more on a controversial topic for our state leaders, teacher pay raises. That's right, Tamika, another big issue, teacher pay raises, but it's not as simple as you may think. I think there's a very clear consensus in the legislature that we would like to do something to assist our educators in the form of a pay raise. Educators haven't seen a pay raise since 2013, but the bill that would give them a pay increase will be based on their performance. Senator Bobby Singleton of Green County says he's not on board with this version of the bill. He says most of the schools in his district are in rural areas and 100% of the students receive free lunch. And these are kids that are coming to school with a lot of challenges. The teachers are having to deal with these challenges on a day-to-day -day basis. Singleton says the bill needs a closer look because it's not fair to all teachers. To put that burden on a teacher to say that they cannot earn a raise simply because a child may not come to school so many days. There may be absentees based on the fact of their home circumstances that we don't know. One concern from Senator Singleton, who will evaluate these teachers? Principals really don't have time to evaluate teachers if they're doing their job. If, you know, are you going to bring in pri private companies? Then that's going to cost money. So all of those kind of questions has to be answered. Representative Bill Poole of Tuscaloosa believes those questions will be answered. He is chairman of the Education Appropriations Committee. I think that discussion is going to be ongoing, and, and certainly, though, I think at the end of the day, uh, I'm hopeful and optimistic that we'll be able to provide a pay raise to our education employees. Now, if teachers do receive that pay raise right now, it's not known exactly how much it will be. But for now, reporting in Montgomery, Jabari Pruitt, WVUA 23 News.